2.0. The SAP HANA Cockpit uh, provides aggregate system and database administration through HANA Cockpit 2.0. We have got a lot of uh, you know functionalities through HANA Cockpit 2.0, as you can see on the screen right now. Uh, we have got the monitoring, configuration, error analysis, and diagnosis, diagnosis performance optimization, business continuity, security. Uh, we have alert configuration, lifecycle management, SAP HANA Access Advanced and also if, uh, we can just create and register new uh, users uh, through cockpit administrators, cockpit users, cockpit resources, cockpit configuration and uh, we also can uh, you know uh, 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 explore the database through a catalog browser, SQL console, monitoring error analysis and diagnosis through uh, HANA database explorer and uh, also, uh, we have, uh, you know, we can, uh, as, I, uh, as, as, as I explained, like we can uh, create tenants, we can create backups, everything is in the configuration and uh, that is also, uh, you know, covered through the HANA Cockpit 2.0. And the HANA Cockpit 2.0 has got a little edge on HANA Studio and uh, um, we, we have to uh, use uh, this HANA Cockpit 2.0 uh, uh, browser related this is all browser related um, you know access so we need to configure our browser for hana cockpit 2.0 to access the uh, hana cockpit 2.0 so let's start um, um, you know uh, yeah, we, we this um, hana cockpit 2.0 and then let's go one by one uh, through all these functionalities what all these functionalities does uh, actually i'm here um, this is my virtual machine so my um, database is h7p so first I, I'll just start my database h7p so I have to go to this uh, SID ADM user so my SID so the command is so do so h7p ADM oh sorry so, so, so do so h seven p a d m. Okay, I'm there now. So the command to start the database is h d b. It's in caps, and then start is in. You can put start in lower cases. issue with my keyboard so now we have to wait till this um, database starts okay database starting now So I'll just, um, I want to check um, actually whether all my services are up or not. So to check the services up or not, so we have to execute the command SAP, SAP control dash NR number, instance number is 01, then dash function, function, get process then list okay so Looks like everything is green. So DB server, AGB is name server green running. Everything is everything looks fine, and uh, I am sure that database is up. So I can see it. So we we can see execute another command. That's a ps minus. But everything is up. Uh, that's not no no doubt in that. Grab H seven P A D M. 
Yes, you can see it here. See, everything is up. No service.js, no data, everything looks fine. Yes. All right, database is up now. Uh, let's go to the browser and open the HANA cockpit. So the Fury Launchpad, login back, cockpit admin, cockpit underscore admin is a user. So you can, you, uh, you can see uh, actually uh, the dashboard here. This is uh, the dashboard for the Fury um, login. It's the initial login of uh, your dashboard, so you can see uh, database. I can I have registered one database, so once you have set up your HANA database, everything is fine, and you are first time you are using HANA Cockpit 2.0, then you need to register your database first. So I have already registered my database, so I click on the database here. So you can see the tenant database is here. Uh, yes, it is here. So you can see. Um, this is S7P is my, uh, this is tenant database. So H7P is my system DB. CPU RAM is 32 GB. And uh, CPU side, as you can see, 56% is occupied. Disk is 16%. Alerts, let's see if we have got any alerts. Well, let's go to the database. You, you can, uh, you can switch to other um, you know home directory or sorry a home page from uh, top you can see the sap logo here and then next to it is that's a database directory you can switch it to home directory from here or you can directly um, you know scroll down and then go to database management click on the database management and uh, you'll see the data uh, this uh, details here so uh, just uh, System DB, H7P, OpenSQL, Database Management, Performance Monitor, If we have to check the background jobs, expensive uh, statements, running statements, alerts, we can uh, just click on any of the segment here. So this, let's go to the alerts. The static server is disabled after uh, alert information could not be shown. You can see that here. I'll go back to the monitor performance. Background jobs. statements we got one statement string alerts okay we got one alert here all right so this is database administration 
here you can see uh, database admin database manage database configuration so uh, let me just open it in uh, another tab Uh, we can you can see uh, we've got parameters 6163 parameters and uh, you can see the parameters here you can add a parameter here there is a button to add this plus sign and then you can you can click on the parameter and you can set the system value and all so parameter setting up the certain parameters and database explorer Uh, this is database explorer and uh, then we can uh, you can see like uh, database explorer is here catalog database uh, diagnostic file database licenses aj administration and then we have view system information update components and uh, Update system and components, install our update additional components, configure system landscape, add host, remove host, uninstall components, download components, and user management. I'll open this in another tab. So if I have to check the user, uh, I, need, I can just do it here. I have created one user here. So let me just... Uh, On my name user Irshad you can see it's here you can see the user you can click on deactivate or delete user here or you can add it if you have to add privilege or roles to it you can click on edit here and edit the user and also you can you, uh, you can see it here like um, I have um, added the privileges to it so you can see like um, admin uh, value parameter authorization mode authentication role assignment whatever role you have to assign you can click on this Uh, database backups you can configure the database backups I have not configured anything here so you can click on the um, backup configuration here and then uh, you can uh, set up your path location file system you can file data directory instance where you have uh, you can just set up the file path on the OS level and then uh, mention it here for the backup and if you have to take the backup uh, manually, then you can just configure the backup manually. So, so you can see the many monitoring here, performance monitoring is here for your all database. I've got the one database instance here. Uh, let me just go to the SQL, open SQL. And uh, you can create a schema here, create schema type or something like that. Use use the SQL, SQL query to uh, create database schema and assign it to uh, assign privileges to it. And you can, uh, you know, uh, grant uh, privileges to or uh, to any user whom you want to make uh, that uh, this um, schema database as an owner like recently i have created the for the bobj installation so i have created two one cms database and another uh, audit database the same thing you have to give the user this uh, system database name for cms database and the uh, uh, schema database and then um, you can uh, just assign uh, adopt the user for those databases and then uh, run this uh, sql query and during the Bob J installation, it will ask you for um, 
uh, two databases, CMS database and RA database, then you have to use those uh, two databases, uh, CKMAS there, and then uh, your Bobj installation will proceed further. Uh, this is uh, where uh, this is the dashboard the uh, initial dashboard where you can uh, you know uh, create the shortcuts to your uh, database for administration for development for test for production and uh, you can uh, create configuration templates as well manage cockpit database explorer and then we have early watch sap early watch where we can uh, configure it for early watch alerts uh, uh, this was actually, I just want to give the overview of the HANA Cockpit 2.0. It's all like, as I said, it has got uh, Edge on uh, HANA Studio, 2. Point, uh, HANA Studio. So I would recommend uh, this uh, HANA Cockpit 2.0 for every, um, you know, uh, I can say the client or the business who has got uh, SAP and implemented. I think this is the best tool uh, to administer our HANA database. So uh, for this video, I ju actually, I think um, I will, uh, I, I need to pause this video and uh, this was only about the introduction of HANA Cockpit 2.0. So I again, um, you know, I appreciate uh, my viewers to, you know, um, uh, uh, for watching uh, my videos. Thank you so much.